have some rocks here. Some of them are meteorites and some are not. So I like to call this activity meteorite and meteor wrong. <laughs> so how do you tell which ones are meteorites and which ones are not? Let me tell you a couple of quick hints that you can use to, to tell whether your collection of rocks are meteorites or not. The first thing I like to do is take a look with a magnifying lens. Meteorites, most of them come from the asteroid belt and they either form like a dark crust on them or they look like they're, they've got an exterior of like splashed metal. So take a close look at the meteorites that you've got or the ones you think are meteorites and see. Are there any light colored rocks? If there are, those are most likely not meteorites. Okay, so we've narrowed down our search a little bit. Another thing you can look at is, with your magnifying lens, is that rocks that have holes in them, they'll either vaporize or explode before they ever reach the ground. And they do that in the atmosphere. So the ones that are porous have little holes in them. You want to take those out too. Oh, I found one right here. This one has little tiny holes all the way through it. So we'll take that out. So meteorites are small. They never really get big or hot enough for, melt, uh, for metal to sink into the core. Uh, most of them are mixed with rock and dust, and those are called stony meteorites. The few that do get big and form metal cores, those are going to be iron meteorites. So if you have any large ones, probably not a meteorite. Okay, so let's have a look. Now, since nearly all meteorites have iron, they are usually attracted to a magnet. So, let's have a look. Okay, so that one's attracted, so that's a possibility. Ooh, that one's not. Oh, this one is. And this one is. So we have three. How about this one? Nope. And this one. This one is. Okay. So now we're down to four. All right, so we have four rocks left. So these might be meteorites, but they also might be lodestone or magnetite. That's an earth rock. That's also um, naturally magnetic. How do you tell the difference? Well, there's one really easy way. You can use the, uh, an unglazed tile or the bottom of like an uh, unglazed part of a coffee cup and make a little mark with this. You know, take your rock and like try to write with it. If you can write with it, if it leaves a mark, then that's going to be the earth rock. That's going to be lodestone. If it doesn't leave a mark, it's going to be a meteorite. And that's how you can tell. By the way, if you are curious as to what my little rock samples here were, let me tell you. The first one, this is pumice. This is a porous volcanic rock. This one, this is a stony meteorite, and it's the same as this one. This is a slice of it, and this is just a chunk that um, was off the end. This one was a lodestone. This is an earth rock. This one over here, this one was the meteorite. This one here, this is a fossil of a turtle shell. <laughs> and this one here is called tektite. You've probably seen the sparkly gold one before. This is what we wish meteorites look like, but they don't. This is fool's gold, otherwise known as pyrite. And this sample is marble. Now this big one here, I said usually it's not a meteorite, but guess what? This one is. This one is attracted to a magnet. It looks like it's made out of splashed metal. And if you try to leave a mark, it doesn't leave a mark at all on an unglazed tile. So it just so happens that this very large piece is in fact a meteorite. Now if you do have a meteorite, you want to make sure after you're done touching it, you kind of wipe it carefully and you keep it coated in oil. That'll make sure it doesn't rust and start to not look so good. Okay, go ahead and give that a try with a collection of rocks that you have. Now meteorites can be expensive, especially if they're big. So here's a way to collect meteorites that are small and that are going to be delivered right to your door. All you need is a sheet of paper and a magnet. You can also use a magnifying lens as well. 
So all you have to do is, usually right before bedtime, place a sheet of paper outside your door. Make it a white sheet of paper. Now in the morning, very carefully pick up your sheet of paper, take your magnet and run it underneath the sheet of paper. Do any of the particles move? If so, those are most likely remnants from a meteorite. Those are tiny baby meteorites. Now you can also have someone look with a magnifying lens on the top while you work the magnet on the bottom to look for movement. And that's a quick and easy way to see how you can catch meteorites while you sleep. Go ahead and give that a try.